Hi, my name is Lisa and I am a customer support specialist here at Intercom. Today, I'm going to show you some of my tips and tricks that I like to use in the inbox to help me support my customers. Um, if you are new to support, if you're new to the inbox, or if you're just looking for some tips and tricks yourself, then this video is for you. So let's jump in. So let's talk about Command K. So basically Command K allows you to perform inbox actions, compose your replies within your inbox without actually having to use your mouse. First things first, where is Command K? So here we have your basic Mac keyboard. You'll see two command keys on either side of the spacebar. Uh, for also for Microsoft, it'll be two control keys. And then we also have to just press K. So when you press Command K, our little menu pops up here. Perfect. Now, once you have your Command K menu open, you see that we have lots of different actions that we can take here. We can scroll through them, we can select them, or we can press Enter to use a different one or we can simply type at the start. So if you're here, if I type snooze and press enter, I can snooze a conversation like that. And that's command K. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the hotkeys. So what are hotkeys? These are basically really simple shortcuts that don't require command K at all. So for example, if you want to assign a conversation to another teammate, you can simply press A and you'll see your menu there to assign. Another example is if you want to snooze your conversation, you just press Said, and you'll see your options to snooze. And probably the one I use the most is M for macros. And straight away, you have all your macros pop up. You can use your arrows to go up and down, and then you can press enter. Simple as that. Uh, one thing to keep in mind for hotkeys which contain a single letter like that is that if you have the composer selected like I have here, just press the escape key, or you can just press outside of the composer, and then you'll be able to use your hotkey again. Don't worry about having to remember all of these off of the top of your head. Another hotkey is the question mark symbol. And you'll see here on the right hand side, all of the keyboard shortcuts pop up. You can leave them open there for you. So you can just check it as you're working through your conversations. And before you know it, you'll know them off by heart and you'll remember them. So let's talk about macros. Macros are my favorite tool in the inbox because they help speed things up so much. So they're basically saved, reply, saved replies that you can send to comment support questions that you get in the inbox. So let's, for example, show you some of my macros. So if I press the hotkey M, all of my macros pop up in this little menu here. I can scroll through with the arrows and press the enter key to enter into the composer here. You can edit them after entering them. So even though they're shared across the, wire, the wider team, um, you can edit them once they go into the composer or you can leave as is. Another thing to mention about macros is that you can also add inbox actions. So as you can see here, you can snooze, you can add tags, you can close, you can assign. So that's really helpful as well. Um, with Command K, you can also create your own macros. So if we press Command K, create a new macro, enter. Now we can create our own macro. Here we can add a title, we can add the body of the message or we can add all of the different actions here. Something really cool about this is that you can make it available for everyone or specific teams, or if you just find that you are constantly saying the same thing over and over again to like typical support questions, you can create them for yourself only so that you'll have them next time that question pops up. So if shortcuts are new to you, my best advice would be to not overwhelm yourself and just pick a couple that you think might be most useful to you right now. That's what I did. For example, I chose send and snooze and send and close because basically I use either one of those in every single conversation that I take in Intercom. So for example, send and snooze is command option enter and send and close is command shift enter. So they're pretty similar and easy to remember. Once you start using these, you'll very quickly realize how much faster you are in the inbox using shortcuts and you'll be ready to take on your next one. So there's lots of ways to speed up and personalize your workflows with this inbox. So while you're learning what works for you, I'd really recommend talking to your teammates to see what works for them, because you can learn so much this way. And that's something that we did here in Intercom. You could have Slack channels where you can talk about different tips and tricks, or you can just talk in person and say, hey, what do you use that works for you? What shortcuts do you use? What hotkeys do you use? And you'd be surprised about the amount of things that you might not know yet that your teammates can help you learn about. So remember, take your time. You're not expected to learn it all at once. 
the muscle memory won't take a lot of time to build up. So introduce your shortcuts bit by bit. And before you know it, you'll be flying through that inbox with all those shortcuts and hockeys. 